Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? And today, per usual, most always, I am here to talk some books. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so hey, how y'all doing? I hope y'all had a fabulous week, and I hope you have a fabulous, I hope you had a fabulous weekend, and I hope your upcoming week is even better. But we're here to talk some books, and I want to do uh, bookish thoughts. I feel like I haven't done one in a while here on my channel and I'm going to discuss this book that I found uh, when I was um, you know scrolling through uh, my Kindle and now the cover okay let me do the name of the book first right because I'm, 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 I'm doing too much is I feed her to the beast and the beast is me by Jameson Shea now the cover that is that I saw when I was in uh, my Kindle uh, on my Kindle is different from the one that is on Goodreads. The cover that's on Goodreads, I've seen this book floating around and it's kind of like a slow burn horror uh, book and I'm pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed it. I'm surprised at myself because I really don't read, no, I don't read young adult. I don't read new adult. Um, that's not you know that those are not my genres um i read them at one point in time but i don't read them anymore so i was just like when i went inside the story i didn't know it was going to be this uh, i didn't know it was going to be up under that genre um but wow wow um the book is 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 pleasantly surprising it's pleasantly good um like i said it's horror it's kind of like a slow burn horror because you're going through all these emotions with these girls uh, especially with the main character who is uh, a black um, ballerina who dances in this Parisian um, ballet company and she's pretty much the only black girl okay and <laughs> it's crazy right and she she's struggling she you know she's going through the motions of being like you know the only black person in the room um, especially uh, within this uh, this this field of uh, ballet or whatever because you know most of the times not most of the time but the majority of the time within that world is you know white you know skinny white girls you know and they come from very um, wealthy families well Lori who is the main character in this book does not you know she's neither of those things she's neither a white girl and she, neither does she come from a wealthy family matter of fact she's orphaned her mother left her and her father um, when she was very young um, and her and her father have a very distant and strange weird kind of a relationship going on her father pretty much kind of like tapped out when the mama left so it pretty much just left this girl to do what she wanted to do on her own which she did um, I gotta say I can't really remember how she if it was discussed in the book how she ended up i know she was always like interested in dance as a kid especially ballets and stuff but it's never really i don't think it's really discussed how she ended up in this particular school but any other way so Lori is going through it and it's just like the tough world of dancing ballerina dancing she has to deal with the pettiness she has to deal with the gossip she has to deal with the girls talking about each other you know doing things to each other um doing things to themselves to basically for them to get at the top you know what i'm saying it's it's dog eat dog uh it's kind of you know it's kind of that world um inside of this story and what basically why this is a horror is because below this school is a catacombs and the some of these girls, including Lori, find themselves at the bottom where well, Lori's actually brought to the catacombs by one of the popular dancers that is, that's there, right? And this girl is just like, hey, if you want to get to the top, I can show you how. If you want to get to the top and don't have no qualms about stepping on people to get where you need to be, come on, follow me. And she takes Lori down in this motherfucking catacombs. When I was reading that part, I was like, First of all, why are you going down? We don't see. We don't do that. We don't do that. Okay, 
and um but Lori's in kind of like this desperate situation and there's this upcoming uh show that is coming up and the girls have to compete basically compete against one another to get these roles or whatever and Lori has always um been in the mind frame that she has to prove herself to everybody around her even her best friend or who she thought was her best friend but we're gonna get to that okay so with this upcoming show coming up she is just like i have to get a part in it like i can't you know like this has to stop i can't be in the back anymore like all of this happen has to this, something gotta happen some gotta get a bitch okay and um she goes she follows this girl down into these catacombs and basically it's it, it read to me almost kind of like a sacrifice is being made right this thing this devil this demon whatever it is that is down inside of these goddamn catacombs is offering these girls like hey i can give you all these things i can give you all these things you want to be the best dancer you want to be at the top you want to do all these things i can give it to you but what are you going to give me child so Lori's just like you know what what the fuck i got to lose you know shit life is already rough tough you know i gotta fight with motherfucking everybody you know what i'm saying i have my parents that basically non-existent and shit the fuck why not so she goes inside this deal with this demon devil whatever the hell it was um ashron and she comes into these she basically comes into these powers where pretty much most of the time all she had to do was think of something bad to happen to somebody and make sure it fucking happens because when it was first happened i was like oh oh she you know they wilding but again these this thing is is taken it's it's taken from these girls as well because these girls are sacrificing they're already sacrificing their bodies with the dancing and stuff you know they're barely eating they're drinking in place of eating they're smoking in place of eating you know it's you you can't be too motherfucking you know you can't be too curvy you got to be thin as a motherfucking rail board and all this other stuff so you know this thing is taken from these girls as well but Lori, because i feel like she was already in a mind frame of you know like i have to uh I'm, I'm gonna do not only am i gonna do what i gotta do to get to this top but i have I, I i feel like during most of the read she felt like i have nothing to lose i have nothing to lose the only person that she didn't really try to do harm to was her best friend who i said we kind of find out really isn't her best friend because once Lori start giving into Ashron and these things start happening for her, she gets picked for the group, uh, for the dance, and she gets one of the top roles. She actually is kind of like the understudy of one of the girl that led her down there in the first place. And, you know, all the other girls, especially the white girls, they're like jealous and, you know, you know they talking shit in the back, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? How does get all of this, you know, and even her friend her best friend who Lori kind of like grew up with um was always around Lori kind of like went to her house did all these things her friend becomes jealous but her friend is also dealing with her own shit because her mother her friend's mother is on the board of this school um that the girls live at and Lori is kind of there under the scholarship or whatever so you know they already looking down at her like but you poor you ain't got no money you know not only are you a black girl but you ain't you know you don't even come from no money you know you ain't even a wealthy black girl you know what I mean so they're looking down on her for that but she made friends with one of the girls and her and this girl basically kind of like went through everything together but all of that becomes kind of like null and void when this girl sees that Lori is starting to climb and her star is starting to shine and all that other stuff and then it's like well it's, it's, it's she started talking shit to Lori telling Lori like why do you even you you don't even belong here you know saying like really passive aggressive shit to someone that who thought they were friends you know what i mean and it's just like crazy so it, it's it's the book is really really good i think the author does a really really good job of pacing the horror 
inside of this book like i said uh one of the descriptions when you go inside is kind of like a slow burn horror and it really is that because the author is is building these things and she's telling you these things on why we get kind of like the catalyst of the story that we get Be, because Lori and her friend kind of like because Lori doesn't tell the friend that she goes down into this you know goddamn basement basically catacombs a motherfucking basement and um <laughs> and you know she's doing this thing so the friend kind of does like the same thing but the friend takes on another type of demon and i think these things were kind of like metaphors for what these girls was going through because the friend it was just like she had to live under this pressure of her mother her mother was a her mother was a, a very well-known dancer popular model all these things so the daughter has to kind of like live um up under the the mother's kind of like shadow and if she did not you know do things perfectly you know everybody's looking at her like what well, is that really her mama you know what i'm saying and the friend wasn't that much of a good dancer and there was a, a scene inside of the book where the author wrote and everybody's looking at her like this bitch kind of shaky like you know she's not even good you know if it's not for her mother she would not even be here that type of thing so when the friend sees Lori kind of like as you know elevating and damn near getting her way to the top or whatever and Lori, and mind you Lori was a very good dancer she was very very good because she had to be you know what i mean and she had to prove herself not just to herself but to all these people these mainly these white audiences around her and stuff like that so Lori was very good but it's just the thing like it's just the thing of when you are uh, a, a black or brown person and you're in a majority white spaces there are going to be things you know people can say that's not true and it's 2024 these things are happening yeah 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 it's still happening because she's still facing microaggressions she still is going to be pushed back especially when you have legacy students and stuff like that that are in these organizations and their parents are basically like buying the school buying the boys and stuff like that and these kids are able to move up so it doesn't really matter how good you are how hard you work you're not going to get where they are because one you're poor you're black and a lot of them feel that you don't belong there you shouldn't even be here you know you you want some fucking scholarship you ain't even you know what i'm saying so there's these things going on with Lori. And we kind of like have like this catalyst at the end where her and the friend kind of like go against each other because of the jealousies and not just the jealousies, but because of the toxic environment that is the, the ballerina world anyway. It really has these girls. They're not really friends with each other. Like they have their little groups or whatever that they are friends, you know, that they pretend to be friends or whatever. But these girls are cutthroat towards each other they're going to do anything and everything to each other just to be at the top just so that they can be the main dancer you know what i'm saying so that people so that their name could be on a playbill or a or a billboard or whatever like these girls don't like each other because the competition is always telling them that you have to cut the next girl down even if you believe that next girl is your friend you have to cut her down to be at the top and i think that arthur did a very good job in describing this and then working it and working it working the horror into the story like it is crazy i really did enjoy it and i'm not a big fan of horror reads but i have read some and the ones that i came across listen especially the black horror i'll be like Jesus, Jesus Christ, I don't even, <laughs> woo, it's just kind of crazy, and, you know, Lori is, she, she starts to separate herself from that, from those dancers, from her friend, from that school, as she takes on other friends, and then she comes to find out that this demon, or these demons that are down, like, in, in that motherfucking basement, is taking on other bodies, of other uh young adults that want to offer something to to be where they need to be at the top or whatever so 
it's a very good book i was like i said i was pleasantly surprised by it. just really really like blown away and i think the sequel is coming out soon i have to read the sequel and see where the author goes by that goes with that but i really did enjoy this book it was really really good like i said i've seen this cover floating around i was just like oh and maybe like i don't remember but maybe i did see something where it did say you know this is kind of like you know young adult horror or whatever and maybe i just didn't realize it when i picked the book up on kindle but oh my god this it, and i actually like the cover on goodreads it's a very good ass cover and basically that cover of her like pretty much laying or swimming in this river of blood is pretty much what goes on like how she first gets herself attached to this demon devil ashron it's just it's crazy but anyway before i go um but i will say if you like horror these kind of reads i definitely would say add this book to your tbr if you have not already read it if you have read it let's discuss like what did you think because i was just like I was pretty much blown away by the book. I finished the book in like one sitting. That's how good it was. That's how really just how much this story captivated me. And Lori just reading her as a young black girl. I think reading her character, you can just kind of like relate to, you know, especially if you are a, a black woman or a black girl that find yourself in the majority white spaces, like these things that you have to deal with. And especially when you feel like you've made a friend and kind of find out like that friend is really not your friend when they start to see, you, you know, kind of like elevate, you know what I mean? Like they really want to like bring you down and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a very interesting book and I liked it a lot. I, I have no complaints about this book. Only I will say like towards the end, I do feel like the pacing, you know, kind of got a little bit draggy. You know, I, I just wanted her to like, you know, let's hurry up and get to this goddamn thing. Like, let's hurry up and reach this goal, reach this ending because, you know, you, you, you dragging it, you dragging it. But again, I think she does that so that you can get the full feeling of what these, not just Lori, but all the characters in general are going through because like i said there's this this devil or these devils or whatever the hell they were down in these damn catacombs it just didn't attach itself to lori her friend got attached the girl that took her down there was attached a couple of the other dances and <sighs> crazy but i will say one thing uh miss jameson you had lori get her ass kicked and i ain't like that <laughs> That fight scene at the end with her and her friend, her friend was kicking her ass. I was like, Lori, you better fight. Fight, girl. Fight. Like, what's going on here? But anyway, very good book. Highly recommend it. Check it out. Especially if you have, like, any type of, like, horror reading challenge coming up or, you know, any Halloween type reading challenge coming up. I would definitely say add this book. This would be a good book to add to your list because it's crazy. But anyway, I want to do tarot pairing for this book. And I going, I'm going to choose two. First, I'm going to choose is the devil. This is from the card deck of This Might Hurt. I did I did like a little ooh. <laughs> I did like a I did like a little bit of an unboxing here. Uh not a full one here on my channel. I got this from the Barnes and Noble when I went book shopping. But we gonna go with i'm trying not to because it's a very shiny card so uh this is the and i kind of feel like this card represents the catacombs and these kind of like when these kids went down inside of these catacombs and kind of like i feel like sacrificed themselves to these things down here all in the name of being at the top all in the name of wealth you know what i mean like they did these things because they were kind of like pressured to you know what i mean so I, I just feel like like just look at the bottom of this car and you see all these um ugh, i'm trying to make it so you guys can see it. okay you see kind of like all these people at the bottom like offering themselves uh, to this devil, you know, and I just feel like it represents exactly what's going on inside of this book. Like, what is your advice? What are you willing to sacrifice to 
to be at, at the top be at the top and and i think that was kind of like almost one of the main things that went on inside of this story what was lori what was her friends what were they all willing to sacrifice to get to the top of of this of this dance academy to to have their names in lights to to just to be at the top of what what was it all worth you know what i mean i think this card gets perfectly perfectly represent what goes on inside of this story and you have this demon sitting there at the top and this is like lori and all of these other kids that found themselves inside of this academy that were willing to give up basically their bodies their their souls everything just 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 to have their names and lights it's, it's crazy so yeah, I'm not even going to pick the other card because the more I think about it, I think this devil card is perfect. I think it's perfect for this book. I think it's a perfect match. It really, really is. It's crazy. I'm trying not to get it in the light. But yeah, this is this is the perfect. This is the perfect card. It is, it's really just like... But yeah, that is it for me. And until the next one, later days. Bye.